Hi, welcome to this tutorial series on microservices. Uh, so, this is a continuous series on microservices. I have created uh, three and four video. Uh, so, this video I will be following this architecture that I am discussing from last three and four videos. So, the the last video I had created product service and DB service, and then uh, this video I will be creating the customer service. And so, so if you see these are the two projects that I have created. Uh, one is for e-commerce DB and e-commerce product service. So I have created this DB service and this product service. So I have done the uh, uh, introduction on the microservices also. So that was my first video. So, so here, if you see, this is my DB service. Here, I have some REST endpoints. So, I have integrated the customer and product in DB service. So, I have some endpoints for customer and DB. So. So these are the endpoints. Here I am saving the customer and getting the customer by customer username. And these are the endpoints to save the product and get the product by product name. So this is about the DB service that I had created. So this was the second project that I had created. So here actually I am calling the DB service. I am calling the I am calling this service here and i'm passing the product name from the product service and i'm getting the product details the same way i will be creating a customer service so from customer service i will be passing the customer username and then i will be getting the customer details so let's create a project uh, let's create new project for customer and this for this one we only need the spring mbc because we only need the rest endpoints here in the spring mbc so let's try to import this project into eclipse So we'll import this as a Maven project. I think it's taking some time. I asked him. Okay. It's showing e commerce DB services already imported. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, it's imported. It's, import it's imported successfully. So, this is our customer service that I have created just now. So, in this customer service, I have to just call the DB service to fetch the customer detail by customer username. So let's create a customer resource. Okay, should be a resource. Okay, it should be a customer resource.
so here we need to so we need to pass the we need to give the rest endpoints okay so here we just need to use the rest template so let's auto buy it and then To, so this should be a bean. Okay, and this, here we need to use the mapping. So here it should be a get mapping. So there we should pass. get customer and here let's pass the customer username so this would be list of string get customer And here we need to use path variable and this should be customer username and term template that Concept list of class, and here we need to pass the URL. Let's check the errors. There's some compilation error. Okay. Oops, I think uh, we downloaded this project, but I think our um, dependency is not coming. So let's quickly copy from here. I think the dependency are missing in this project, so it's not showing us to not showing the help to get import the particular project uh, so the particular dependency so it should be this one okay yeah So if you see this form.xml file, there is no file, there is no dependency for Spring MVC. So now this will work fine. Okay. So here we need to give the um, URL for customer for db service so this should be this one yeah. so let's pass the url here and then okay 
Don't need this one here. So let's modify this back this global URI also. So this is it's a customer service. So let's give it a name as a customer service. Okay. So now we need to create the configuration also. So Create a config configuration for this template. So the config contact the function. So for this we need to use configuration annotation. And we we also need the rest template here. So we need to create a B. Yep, this is so so one last configuration that need to be done is component scan. The component scan should target to this the case and yeah one more configuration is left that is uh, need to give the service name and port number into our application dot property file so let's try to put here Okay, so it's a customer service. And um, port number we can give 9303. Okay, that's it. So now we can test this microservice. So our DB service is up, our product service is also up. Now let's test this uh, customer service. So we our DB service should be started uh, while testing and while testing the customer service because it is actually hitting the DB service URL. So this is a DB service URL. So the DB service should be up. Okay, let's hit this URL. Should be yeah nine three zero three. And here we need to give get customer. So if we see the table for the customer we have customer username John user. So if we give John user as a name, so it should give us the its name. Yeah, so it's like we find. So what it is doing is actually when we call this get mapping that just now we have created so we are passing the username dynamically customer username so by customer username we are we are now calling this db service so if we check the db service rest endpoints so these are the rest endpoints for the db service so this one it is actually calling so we see this uri so this is 
db slash customer so db slash customer then this one so what it is doing is it is actually getting the customer list by its customer username that what we are passing and then it is storing the name mm, of the customer not the customer username customer username and name is different you see the db so this is customer username and this is name so we are passing customer username and then we are getting uh, customer name from the string so i think these three microservices are working fine so we created three microservices so now if you see our design so we have created customer service product service and db service so we are successfully getting the information of customer by passing customer username from the db service and we are successfully getting the product details by passing the product name so now in the next video i will be creating a order service where i will pass the customer name customer username and then the product name and then i will create a order here and then i will save that order into db so that i will be doing into my next video so that's all for this video thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye bye